Morrissey doesn't fancy the Eurovision, maybe this pair could give it a go. They sang, I can't make you love me, but Hannah and Waterman and Marty Pella were wrong. The public did love them. They voted them champions of the BBC celebrity singing competition, just the two of us. Yes, the pair beat Strictly Come Dancing's Brendan Cole and Beverly Knight in a nail-biting finale following an emotional roller coaster of a week. We'll be talking to Hannah and Marty in just a moment, but first here's a look at them in action. Have I told you lately that I love you? Have I told you there's no one above you? Fill my heart with gladness Take away all my sadness Ease my troubles That's what you I can now reveal the winners of just the two of us are <laughs> yeah, they are. We've already started the interview, just the two of us. Yes. Champions Hannah and Marty Higgins. Hoorah! Congratulations, yes. first of all. Bizarre, isn't it? Yeah, it was, no, it was going on, really. I have a theory. I reckon all the ladies in the country voted for him. So no, that's no, no, that's not we true. Wanted. That's not true. <laughs> yeah, all right. No, it's not all. And all the men voted for you then, didn't they? <laughs> Very <laughs> unlikely. It was the quality of your voice, wasn't it? <laughs> I've got no idea the country's gone mad. Hey, you know, what a what a wild trip. But it's when you got fun. into when you got into the final, three couples there. I mean, mentally, how did you rank yourself? Oh wait, I, I wasn't winning it. We were out. Really? We were I was out in my head five days before when we started, you know. I think that's the way we kinda of looked at it. We just did what we did, you know, and uh, let it unfold and uh <laughs> we were obviously straight in accord, accord with the British public. They loved it. Yeah, you had a very laid-back approach, didn't you, both of you, actually? Do you, you enjoyed it, though, didn't you? Yeah, you loved I loved it. I had a brilliant time. The whole experience was fantastic. And, you know, I mean, I'm not under any illusions that I'm going to kind of release an album <laughs> oh, or why anything. Not? But, hey, it was great fun, you know, and it was a privilege, you know. He was amazing, and it was a real privilege to work with him, and that was what was, you know... And um, what about your dad as well? Because he was... <laughs> was he there every night? Pretty much. Yeah, bar one, when I nearly got voted out, and he was like, right, that's it, I'm in. I'm right, back we needed, in We needed our good luck. Our good luck, man. He was yeah, our lucky mascot. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, did she take a lot of coaching, Marty? I mean, yeah, yeah, we saw you, about... saw you did put a lot of effort in. You put the hours in, didn't you? Well, that's in exactly that. You know, and, and believe it or not, that put me at peace, because... I was I was extremely nervous about uh, and embarking on this because I'd never done anything like this before. Mm. And uh, but the good thing about Hannah was is that both of us had the fear of not not putting our, putting hours in, you know, and, and, and rehearsing and giving each another peace of mind. And that and that was something that I'm so thankful for that uh, Hannah embraced it with a passion because singing's so important to me because that's my you know it's my livelihood. It's something that I that I'm very passionate about. And when Hannah came on board uh, and, and got into the spirit of the programme, we knew that as long as we had our sense of humour intact, <laughs> we were OK. Well, you you needed, nothing, we've just been <laughs> laughing for the last three and a half weeks. And you, you, know. you needed a sense of humour with that bunch of judges, didn't you? I mean, you know, well, I was, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, the, uh, there was times that they weren't very kind to us. Exactly. But, you know, uh, and, <laughs> and rightly so. Just and rightly so. so. Hold uh, my hands up, you know. No, but for <laughs> both, you know, and, and there was other times we just went, ah, whatever, you know, mm. because... Uh, the, uh, the, uh, we could look each other straight in the face okay. and say that that was the best we could do. And um, before you go, we know what you've just done. Um, Hannah, what are you up to next? I've Martin got um, an afternoon play coming out soon for the BBC, which mm -hmm. is I'm really proud of. It's an hour long 
um, sort of single piece of drama, which I, I love. Yeah, they're doing. great those afternoon yeah, plays. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Same me through the afternoons. I could tell you, Marty, what about you? I'm playing Ronnie Scott's on the 15th and 16th and 17th. That's a gig, you know, that uh, I just confirmed last night. Oh, right. And it was something I wanted to do. I'm, I'm going to play some uh, some jazz and have a great night. It's called Sentimental Me. Three nights, Ronnie Scott. Tickets 16, on sale presumably now. Tickets go on sale right now. Are you going, Hannah? I'd love to Get go. <laughs> there's, always a, there's always a table for you at Ronnie Scott's. Yay! On the 15th, 16th or the 17th. <laughs> Did I say the 15th and 16th and 17th? Uh, Ronnie Scott's. That's right, yes. guys. No idea when it is, Martin. It's a Thank you very much. <laughs> Listen, thanks. Good Good to see you. Thank, yeah. you. Thank you very much. Champions! <laughs> Coming up on breakfast <laughs> soon.